Hello students, I am in this video, I am going to explain chapter 3, genetics, some basic fundamentals. You might have heard that you got height from your father and fair complexion from your mother. Take a look at this photo. Can you see that the color of the child's eye is just like her father? But father's hairs are straight while daughter's hairs are curly. What accounts for such similarities and differences? The answer to this and several related questions are dealt with in genetics. Genetics, now it is a study of heredity means passing of body features, both similarities and differences from parents to offspring and the laws related to such transmission. Here we talk about similarities and differences, both for body features. Now, let's take a look at the different terms that we come across while studying genetics. Heredity means transmission of genetically based characteristics from parents to offsprings. Like begets like. It means that young ones look like their parents. We know that cat, cats produce cats and not dogs. And human produce ch children, not any other animal. Means same type of species has to be originated and now variations all organisms produce their own kind but the offsprings are never identical to their parents some difference is found in them these differences are known as variations Now, character and traits, any inheritable feature among the parents and offspring of an organism is a character and while the trait is a part of the character, we can say that alternative forms of a character are called traits. We inherit thousands of characters from our parents. For example, hair shape is a character and curly or straight to alternative forms are traits. In the same way, color of the eye, character and brown or blue, these are traits. Chromosomes are only visible when a cell nucleus is about to divide. Photographs of the dividing cell nucleus can be taken through a high power light microscope. These photographs are used for artificially arrangement of chromosomes. And these artificially chromosomes arrangement is known as karyotype. In human karyotype, we see that 22 pairs of autosomal chromosomes are there, which are same in nature, and one pair of sex chromosomes. Chromosomes are there, and it is known as allosomes. Normal karyotype for females contain two X chromosomes and are denoted XX, and 44 are autosomes. And in males, X and Y chromosomes are there, which are different in nature, and these are denoted by 44 plus X, Y. Let's look at the chromosome numbers of different animals. These are as follows. Name of the animal, Ascaris, two chromosomes, tiger 38, Humans 46, Gorilla 48, Potato 48, Sweet Pea 14. 
gorilla and potato have same number of chromosomes yet one is distinct from the other in body size appearance color behavior etc all such characteristics of an organism are the result of the genes located on the chromosomes now sex determination son or daughter let's look at the inheritance pattern the sex of a child depends upon the kind of sperm that fertilize the egg we know that sex determination in human has total 23 pairs of chromosomes out of that 22 pairs of autosomes are same in male and female and one pair of sex chromosome is there in human all the gametes produced by females contain only the x chromosomes x and x whereas male produce two kinds of gametes x and y now fertilization of egg with the sperm carrying x chromosome result in female child if the egg x is fused with y bearing sperm the resulting combination is xy means male constitution and the child produced is a male son it means 50 50 percent chances are there of formation of daughter and son punnett square now punnett square is a pictorial formation in which we take gametes of one parent towards one side and other parent are placed along the another side of grid and the possible combination genotype of the opposite gametes are given in the sub square and here with the help of combination we can get answer this is an another example to make the things clear the human population has two variants of tongue roller or non tongue roller and in this when we make a cross rr capital homozygous and capital r small r heterozygous and small r r homozygous recessive in this this combination will be formed and according to that it will be decided that who will be tongue roller and who are not now sex link inheritance it is the appearance of a trait which is due to the presence of an allele exclusively either on the x chromosome or on the y chromosome when we talk about x link inheritance it means completely genes are present for this inheritance on x chromosomes examples are hemophilia and color blindness hemophilia this is a rare disorder in which blood does not clot and color blindness individual can't differentiate between red and green now see all the symbols which are used in this criss cross or in this punnett square method xx is representing normal female xx0 carrier female but it looks like normal and having genes or trait for disease but this disease will not be there in carrier female x0 x0 color blind female when both x are with the zero so then it will be color blind female and xy normal male x0y because male is having only one x chromosome that's why if it is defected so then person will be 
male will be color blind now here uh, we discuss two cases father is color blind and normal mother when we make a cross so towards one left hand side grid we take mother and right hand side grid we take father and when father is color blind obviously it will be with zero x x zero x x zero and x y and x y these are the four sub square results it means two daughter carriers to normal son will be formed one more case what type of children will be produced if father is normal and mother is carrier a daughter carry carrier one son color blind one son and one daughter normal when you will draw this punnett square you will get the results now gregor john mendel he is very known he was born in a peasant family he had his early education in a monastery and later he studied science and mathematics at the university of vienna the monastery had a lovely garden which satisfied his urge to understand some secrets of nature regarding the inheritance of certain features in garden p his findings are called mendel's law of inheritance mendel's law of inheritance mendel has chosen sweet pea plant pisum sativum on the basis of its characters in this he has he has taken he had taken mendel uh, plant because plant had various contrasting characters such as length of the plant color of the pod and shape shape of the seed that were visible to the naked eye moreover self pollination as well as cross pollination was possible in these plants and crossing between these plants could be controlled in addition these plants grow quickly and produce a large number of offspring so then mendel has done number of experiments for 7 years and now important terms related to punnett square and mendel's law genome it is a full complement of dna allele alternative forms of a gene and it occupies on the same position on homologous chromosome homologous chromosomes means one is acquired from father one is acquired from mother then homozygous condition when both are having same alleles for example capital tt or small tt means it should be same capital or small heterozygous having different alleles for the same trait example one capital t and small t phenotype the observable characters which are genetically controlled for example whatever visible characters are there these are related with phenotype if any capital letter is there it will represent one tall character t capital t t or capital t small t due to the presence of capital t its phenotype will be tall genotype the set of genes present in the cell when we talk about tall plant its genotype will be capital t t will represent homozygous tall and capital t small t will represent heterozygous tall now mendel's law mendel's 
ha uh, Mendels ha uh, has mentioned three laws. The law of dominance, out of a pair of contrasting character present together, only one is able to express while the other remains suppressed. The one that expresses is the dominant and the one unexpressed is the recessive. So this law is totally dependent on one character. Here we take cap tallness and dwarfness. One character we study. So when these gametes will be separated out, so then in F1 filial generation, heterozygous tall will be obtained. So its genotype will be capital T, small t, and phenotype will be tall. This is monohybrid cross when we talk about only one character that is called monohybrid cross. The law of segregation, this law is also related with one pair of contrasting character. Here, when we are talking about two members, so these are separating during the formation of gametes and they don't mix to each other. For example, see the Punnett square, see the table, when in first filial generation, when heterozygous tall we get, then we make a self cross in between them and gametes will be formed. And uh, when we draw a Punnett square in heterozygous tall, in male and female gametes towards left and right side grid, so then four sub square we will get and four results will be there capital tt capital t small t and small tt so then total answer in terms of phenotype it will be three is to one when we talk about genotype it is one is to two is to one means one is homozygous tall Two are heterozygous tall and one is a recessive homozygous dwarf. So it, this square is made in F2 generation, F2 file generation. So these are the results. When we do self cross, then ultimately we will get to 3 is to 1 phenotype and 1 is to 2 is to 1 genotype. This law is also concerned with the one pair of character. Now we come to third law of Mendel. This is the law of independent assortment. When we talk about two character, two contrasting character, in this, di this is called dihybrid cross. Mendel proposed a new set of generalization, which was later called the law of independent assortment. According to this law, when two pair of traits or characters are united in a hybridization, so then one character will be able to express independently without disturbing the presence of another character. It means both will be able to express their own identity. We consider this as a dihybrid cross. Now, two characters we will consider for the same. Seed color and seed shape. Capital YY for seed color and capital RR for seed shape. When we take parents with the dominant and recessive feature, so then in first filial generation, all will be yellow and red, yellow and round. And when we make their gametes, the so four gametes we will form. And in these four gametes, when we do self-cross, 
तो हेयर सिक्सटीन आंसर विल बी देयर सिक्सटीन ऑफ स्प्रिंग विल बी देयर ऑफ द पी प्लांट वेन वी मेक क्रॉस इन बिटवीन बोथ ट्रेड्स तो टोटल रिजल्टेंट विल बी इन टर्म्स ऑफ वाई वाई आर आर एंड एज वाई एन आर आर देयर इन कैपिटल फॉर्म आउट ऑफ टू इफ एनी वन इज इन इन कैपिटल फॉर्म तो देन इट विल बी येलो एंड राउंड whether it is dominant or recessive if one capital r and y should be there so here you see how these are formed now see in dihybrid cross when we talk here we are able to see that nine are there yellow and round out of 16 and three are green and round three are yellow and wrinkled and one is green and wrinkled so in a nutshell we can say that both characters are able to express without blending to each other this is our third law of mandel now mutation it is a sudden change in one or more genes or in the number or in the structure of chromosomes when we talk about mutation these are used to bring changes in chromosome structure and mutation alters the hereditary material of an organism cell and results in a change in certain character or traits for example sickle cell anemia it is a blood disease caused by a gene mutation and in this due to this it causes a change in the dna resulting in the production of sickle shaped rbcs second one radioactive radiations these alter the gene structure and their effects can be seen generation after generation and atomic explosion which had occurred during world war 2 1945 in japan hiroshima nagasaki had led to a number of deformities in the body of plants and animals which are still persisting so these are the causes of mutations and these are the photographs of mutation we can see how changes have taken place there are certain questions related to the today's topic kindly make an attempt to solve and submit it